everyone, we're here with Sabrina Nelson. I'm going to interview her. She recently went backpacking with me for the first time and I thought she could share some helpful tips for other folks that might want to backpack for the first time. All right, so Sabrina, will you introduce our, yourself for the camera? Hi everyone, my name is Sabrina Nelson. I use she, her, and hers as my pronouns. They and them are fine. Excited to hang out with you for a bit. Thanks Sabrina for being here. I've got some questions for you and I think they're questions that a lot of folks want answered. Mm -hmm. The first is you, well I'll make a statement, you and I went backpacking together yep. uh, on the John Muir Trail uh, recently and can you tell folks what it was like for the first time and maybe what intimidated you about the process? Yeah, good question. It was epic words do not describe how amazing my experience was backpacking on the JMT. Um, the scenery was outstanding. There was a point when um, we got to see an area and we were like, gosh, it looks like a manicured golf course, <laughs> <laughs> which is really silly that that was our construct. Um, but it, so it was a really cool moment to be like, no, golf courses are modeled after spaces like this. Um, so that was just really exciting, really grounding experience to be out in nature. Um, I was intimidated by like the preparation for the experience. Um, as someone who's not um, a big backpacker, I didn't know what to expect, what to pack. Um, I luckily had you Kelly to help me navigate that, but there was a hump to get over for me to feel like I was ready to go out into the backcountry um, in this fashion. Was it physically hard for you? What were some of the hurdles like to get over that? Physically, no. I think the, um, it was more mentally challenging at some points than it was physically. I walk, I jog, sometimes swim and do minor body weights. And so I feel like that was um, enough preparation for me to get into the backcountry and to carry a pack and such. Um, the mental piece was just getting over some hurdles that I created in my head, um, which were really rewarding to, to come through, especially in, in community with people I was backpacking with. Was there anything that scared you while you were in the backcountry? Oh yeah. Um, I struggled going down like uh, a boulder field, I suppose. Um, body just felt like uneasy. My mind got really overwhelmed. I think that was just harder for me with my own balance and such. Um, and trying to navigate like where I step and sometimes stones weren't as stable as I thought and just recovering from that in a very high elevation and seeing where I could tumble <laughs> down to <laughs> um, was a little intimidating and challenging um, for me doing some off trail pieces there. So it wasn't like the bears and the spiders and the critters that really got to your head? No, it was more so just like my own physical limitations that I created in my head. Um, although there were an, uh, a ton of mosquitoes that <laughs> I felt really underprepared for. <laughs> um, so make sure you look into the forecast and understanding which critters might be around and be prepared for it because I wish I had some bug repellent. <laughs> uh, last question. Would you give a thumbs up or a thumbs down to uh, using the facilities? Oh, two thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for talking with us today, Sabrina. Yeah.